Ford Galaxy um, gearbox has been changed. Um, Mr. Gearbox in Sheffield has said they've done everything that they have, as far as I know. However, they have not coded it in, as you can see. So what we're going to do is come back out of this. Come back out of this. And what seems to happen with this car is when it drives uh, from first gear, it revs all the way up to like three and four, and then it changes it. But when it does, it gives it a nice shake in that sense. Uh, second and third is more or less similar. So what we're going to do is code it in. So you go into hot functions. Um, and then that's it then you've got two so we'll do both anyway I'd rather do it properly so we'll start with this one um, and it tells you here that new transmission and you say yes if no it won't do it um, it has to be a specific temperature as well so it will tell us what to do in a second so set ignition on which is already on Um, yes it is if you don't do this it will not do it no matter how, how hard you try uh, apply so let's start the engine okay so it needs to be between 40 and 70 which it is happy you press ok um, yep You've got to do that in a second, so apply the foot and brake so that the pressure of the... So we're going to do that now. Fully accelerate pedal, yep, we'll do that as well. So it's telling us what's out of range and stuff, so I've not put my foot on the accelerator. So... And then once everything's happy, it will then get cracking and move on to the next stage. You see everything's in range now. That's the only one, obviously, because it's not been completed. As you can see, it's, I've put my foot fully on the uh, accelerator and pedal all the way down, and it's uh, put it into gear one by one itself. Um, I'll go through every single I have, but I don't know why it says that. We'll ignore it for the time being, but it's going to do its job stage at a time I'll update you once all these finished and I've move on, moved on to the next page completed everything and it says successful so we'll just we've done that one we'll just go on the clutch system as well so we'll release everything um, turn ignition on uh, carry on uh, yes, more or less same stuff. This is the kind of procedure it is. Yes, we are happy. Da, da, da. Okay, okay. Set ignition on. Ignition is on. Uh, is the vehicle fit with else? No, because if you put yes, it will not work. I tried earlier, I think it cut me out. So just make sure you tell the car if it is electronic, it is electronic. If it's not, then no. Okay, let's start the engine. Here we go, and then carry on. Again, it's similar stuff. Foot on the accelerator and um, one foot on the brake pedal. So here we are. So the rev limiter will not go above that. I've fully put my foot down and you won't do it. So here it is. It's gonna try all the gears one by one. Again, don't forget you've got to leave your foot on um, all the time if you don't then you'll just abandon the uh, procedure and it'll just fail and you'll be in back on stage one again it's finished completed happily yep it's successful so yeah we'll just turn the ignition off one more time press ok it's gonna do its job and you can release the brake pedal and the accelerator um, turn that off here we are This is a very, very common fault in Fords. All the automatic Fords have this fault. Um, they all have gearbox faults as far as I know. So it's all done. If I come back out of this, go into this, um, go into control unit, uh, TCM. So if you remember, this was the fault, so we'll come back out. 
and then we'll erase it. Apparently he's done it. <laughs>